Hey guys, welcome to a new teardown. Today I'm going to show you uh, Coda's pricing page uh, uh, because in this case is one of the best pr pricing pages I've ever seen, right? So first they start off by saying that you can do a lot for free. So basically like Coda is like a Notion um, type uh, competitor, right? So first of all, you can say that the team can do a lot for free. So the team can start for free. That's, that's good. Uh, maybe they could have said a little bit more ab about what's included, but uh, nonetheless, you're still scrolling down and, uh, and, and uh, learning more about it, right? Then they address something that very few landing pages ever address uh, and that notion actually doesn't address at all right and the, what they're addressing here is that um, they they show the difference between viewers and editors and then actual people that, that create documents so let's say if you, in a in a team of 30 right they, they even have the calculator in the in the team of 30 if 25 people are just seeing uh, the files uh, um, and or they're editing the files but they're not creating new files then you only pay for those five people, right? Which makes way more sense, and Notion doesn't cover this at all. Uh, so this is way, way, way clearer. They get the main uh, confusion out of the way, right? Then they have an overview of the pricing plans, right? And, and then after that, they have like the full comparison. It's like all these differences are pretty clear. Uh, it, it, they have clear descriptions for each of the plans, which is great. And they even differentiate what are the free packs in terms of the integrations uh, that you get in, in each one, right? So uh, like they even show here, like, so see the entire pack, everything is compact, uh, everything is like organized, everything has little descriptions. So it is as clear as it can be, right? Even the uh, FAQ is, is pretty good as well, right? So if you're doing a pricing page, make sure that you address uh, like the main reasons why people need to upgrade, right? The main difference between the plans, that you have clear descriptions for each one, and that you organize things into little sections. So it's very clear for people to, uh, on um, a bird's eye view, let's say, or even skimming through the page, what are the key differences between each of them with actual descriptions. So this is like the best way to actually explain it. And it doesn't even make the page that long, right? So. Uh, let me know what you think about this pricing page in the comments. Uh, if you have any other good examples that you wanted me to show, uh, happy to go over those as well. And if you're interested in seeing how I can help you, just feel free to DM me or just go to Cortez.Design slash apply. Cheers.